Hi, welcome to the GIF channel. Today we are installing a daytime running lights on the 6 to 6, uh, which will be trigger, triggered manually. This is the first step, the idea is to make them automatic. Um, but the way I'm, I'm thinking of doing the manual step is actually very elegant and I believe many people will be actually happy only with it. Um, basically, it's gonna be from here. So you have this, this, and then when you go to auto, instead of auto, it's gonna be uh, the daytime running lights. As you can see when I'm on auto, I do not have uh, uh, he headlights and the other lights, no lights at all. You see? When it's here, it's supposed to be automatic, so these are off. Uh, and I'm actually gonna use it now for now not to be automatic but manual so you just Leave it be like that and it's running only on daytime running lights. So what you need is are those um, Those bulbs and this thing that is for two colors So this is two colored bulb with a circuit for two colors and this actually plugs into the existing one I've already typed them um, you can watch more on this uh, on my other video where I do I, I do use these at the back turn lights for uh, additional lighting for the backup gear the reverse gear um, you, you need this of course you need this uh, for this one of course as you can see it's different than the 6 to 6 one I already have video on it how to make it uh, a video is on on these um, so these are fog lights front and rear and I have a video for that also and I explain differences in those and where to get it from it's a Mazda 6 facelift version with I believe with rain rain sensor um, anyhow you're gonna need this and now as you can see I have already started this assembly what I believe the plan is uh, and what you can see in the video for installing this one is that I actually have here one let me try to go out and flash flash it oh, with light so here there are two wires that I have already isolated. This one, which is green and red, if I can turn it. Green and red. This one, and a, and a black one. Uh, we are interested in the green and red one. The green and red one, actually, looking just I'm just currently looking at colors. The green and red one should go right here. Oh, let's see. On this connector, let me place the light down somehow. Okay. So this connector it's currently free. This is for a relay exactly like that one B150. Exactly like that one. Uh, this relay is for headlight washers. Since this car doesn't have it, and most of the cars do not have it, it's very rare to have it. I am gonna use the lines already here. So, how is this working? You can see the the wire here. This is the green. They're all green here. Let me try to find the, the red color on it. Uh, maybe on the opposite side it will be more visible. Yes, here you go. That's the green with red. So it goes to here. And basically what it does, it carries ground with it and closes the relay, uh, activates the relay. So when the, the relay activates, it actually sends 12 volts instead of ground through this wire. 
uh, the green with yellow that you see here. Now this wire, if we go out, if we go out and come here onto this connector, which is crappy right now, but you could, you're gonna find the wire exactly here. That's the wire. So I'm hoping, and I'm gonna test this to see if, if that's the case. So I'm hoping if I actually pass ground to this wire, connect my other relay there, when I pass ground to here, I'm gonna get 12 volts there. Let's see. Uh, actually, uh, after that, you connect the 12 volts to here, and you actually get this this up and running. So let's check it out if it's gonna work like that. <clears throat> okay, an interesting development here. So I started cleaning this here. Let me try to focus. I actually almost cleaned it because I thought that's garbage. Then I decided to remove this relay to see if it actually fits because I only read it's the same relay. Uh, yes, it does fit. The two are equal. As you can see. But look at this. Where I removed, it's the same white crap. So apparently, I have to just plug it in instead of cleaning. Let's see. Okay, relay, I just plug it in. And I, I've also unwrapped my electrical tape here, and that's the connector. And I have uh, some alligator clips, which now I'm gonna touch on ground. This is clear ground here. Now, nothing is happening, as you can see. Because I, I'm not actually, I haven't turned the key. Now I turn the key to not to ignition, to accessories. As you can see, there's nothing on the dashboard. And now, relay activates. That's quite good. That means if, if you turn off your car and leave the car B on auto here, uh, you're not gonna drain your battery. That's just perfect. It's even better solution for the menu. Just leave it at auto and the only thing you have to figure out is when to turn on your headlights. And turn them off, of course. Okay, um, let's now probably see uh, here um, where I should place this one in. I'm gonna remove this use a multimeter to figure out which pin I need to stick this in. I'm hoping it's a thin one because this is a thin one and there are some thick ones. If it's a thin one it's just unplug and then plug. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's see. Okay, after a little debugging um, I have wonderful news. It's, it is a small one. So this means just unplug it from the stock one, which I do not remember, but you can check in the video for installation of fog lights, and plug it into the new one, and it's gonna work. Uh, so currently looking, the the two thick ones at the bottom, so I'm only talking about bottom row, the two thick ones along with the third, the first uh, thin one, they are all ground pins. They are one and the same pin. After that, the two are for the two positions, The actually the three, they, they, they just follow. So, second, third and fourth um, thin ones are exactly those positions. First, second and third. Uh, of course, when you're on second position, the headlights are on, both, uh, both second and third thin pin on the bottom row are connected to ground. Once you move to auto, they get disconnected and only the fourth pin is actually connected to ground. And then the last pin and the thick one 
at the end these are for what uh, what I'm these are for the, for these actually here they are also ground but it just appears when you use this switch so looking here I or as you can see these are the two I have added for the fog lights and there's the missing spot here in the stock connector in between those two and the two that are actually in I have to plug in this green cable and I will be able to control um, the relay using this switch let's do it and the green pin is in if you do not know how just place a flat head here pop this up plug the pin and close it if you want to remove a pin again you have to pop this up but then you have to use a flat head here and remove this uh, just pop the plastic uh, fastener and then pull the cable at the same time and after everything is done just push this down so it is here and it is working let me just plug this in let me close the door so it doesn't have sounds for left home for headlights and you can hear it now oh, right. these are on the other ones are on everything is off and you can hear the click so I'm controlling finally the relay with this if, if I leave it like that and then turn the key down the relay should be off let's hear it on to hear it on it's <laughs> this one is more noisy we'll see when I place the multimeter in the cable at the fender so let me go out and clean that um, plug there and set up for measuring 12 volts okay same greasy thing here I've directly plugged in the the cable for the white white light so let's test you see the light bulb and my hand turn once turn the second time we have headlights there now I turn third time bulb is lit no headlights if I press the blinks come on where are you starts blinking Press again and stops blinking. Beautiful. That's exactly what I want. Now I'm gonna try to disassemble this. Not quite sure I'm gonna be able to because it's so dirty and I'm not gonna be able to see how to remove the pin, leave the rest be, but I'm gonna try nonetheless. And then pull a cable right here. It's the loom that connects those two headlights. So I'm gonna connect here, or pull another cable from here to here, and that's it. And I also need a relay, I forgot about that. I'm using the stock relay B150, which yeah, I believe it's used for defroster or something like that, uh, probably the rear window. I'm not quite sure but it's used the relay there I cannot just unplug it and plug it here so I'm gonna find another re relay which I'm gonna use here and that's it let's start with it so um, I decided to make a little bit more informant video informative video and so I, I went and I bought this, uh, it's the same plug as the one uh, with the fender, that's the plug for the pump for um, for the washers, headlight washers. So 
what I did is I actually got it I cleaned it yes it's white <laughs> it didn't seem like white um, and I removed the pin that I'm interested in so I can see how uh, what was the pin and how how to remove it so good news pin is this one which means with a little bit of tooling I can actually make this thing disassemble uh, being able to disassemble it later so that's what I plan to do and how to remove this I still haven't decided will I just plug this in to here or I'm gonna remove my original wire and plug it separately probably the second one because it will be easier to make it water resistant um, there is there is a pin inside so these grooves here these four grooves uh, are left for a reason so you can stick something sharp and then just uh, push and at the same time pull the, the cable and you will be able to release it quite easily that's all, all, all to it just push here uh, then push it push <laughs> and pull the cable so that's it let's make the cable I guess I also got a relay placed it works beautifully so now only the cable remains and everything should be done that's it the prototype of course I managed to get the same cable cover uh, I have lots of cables here cable looms from 6 to 6 um, so the way I did it I removed from here the pin it's this pin then a plug then here it splits, one goes to the other side and one goes inside of the light bulb uh, again with the connection so this goes through here, there is a hole there goes like that, of course this is gonna come under here I'm gonna remove this to make it happen, like that, like that then again into the hole there then it comes out from here and again the connection uh, that's it uh, now I'm gonna remove this, install everything as is, wrap it so it's uh, waterproof and show you the final result. Okay, that's the final result. So this is with headlights on, markers, nothing. Now if I remove the key, that's the key removed, I insert it back and place it to accessories. Now I'll turn the side markers. That's it. I hope you like it. Hit subscribe. I'll be posting more videos soon. Bye.